race to acquire and manufacture rare earth mage nits made from rare earth elements like neodymium, boron, samarium and cobalt is speeding up. With China ahead of the competition by miles being the biggest rare earth magnet producer, accounting for about 90% of global output, thanks to its dominant position in mining and processing. India wants to up the ante, with plans to almost triple the size of its incentive program for rare earth magnet manufacturing to more than 70 billion rupees. India wants to speed up the process of building domestic capacity. Other major economies like the US and Japan are also working on decreasing their reliance on China. Rare earth magnets are used in numerous high-tech applications including in electric motors for electric vehicles, wind turbine generators, computers, phones and in defense equipment like aircraft and guided missiles. According to a Bloomberg report, to speed up India's production capacity, a proposal to triple the current incentives is awaiting cabinet approval. The proposal, awaiting cabinet approval, represents a significant step up from an earlier $290 million plan aimed at securing critical materials. India is also joining hands with several nations to accelerate efforts to develop a supply chain for rare earth magnets after China, which processes about 90% of global output, tightened export controls in April amid its trade dispute with the US, disrupting supplies for automakers worldwide. Earlier this year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi warned that critical minerals should not be weaponized, while calling for stable, diversified global supply chains. India's rare earth expansion plan aligns with global efforts to reduce reliance on China. But so far, limited funding, expertise, and long project timelines remain a challenge. As of now, domestic production is non-viable without subsidies. So mostly, state-owned firms are leading early efforts to secure overseas mining partnerships. The technological know-how to manufacture rare earth magnets at scale is heavily concentrated in China, and mining rare earths poses environmental risks due to their association with radioactive elements. The government initiative will support about five companies through a mix of production-linked and capital subsidies. China has recently issued the first licenses allowing imports of rare earth magnets for use in India, but none have been granted to Indian origin firms. According to reports, the Indian government is also funding studies on the so-called synchronous reluctance motors, a technology that could eventually reduce dependence on rare earth materials. Several overseas suppliers have expressed interest in providing rare earth materials to India, whose projected annual demand of about 2,000 tons of oxides can be easily met by global producers. The plan could face headwinds if China's recent easing of export curbs for the US and European Union is extended to India. That could make Chinese magnets cheaper and more accessible globally, potentially deterring long-term investment in India's nascent sector.